AUR helper and soyware. Those two things are completely synonymous, at least that is until now. Whenever you see an AUR helper, it's usually going to be made in Rust or Go, like you can see here with Paru and Ye. But you know what? I wrote one in C because I was sick of using these ones written in languages that I hate, these slow languages. And so I decided to do a little bit of a speed test with mine, and look, with Ye, it didn't even install the package that I wanted, but it still took over three seconds with Rust, all right? When you use uh, Paru, which Paru is written in Rust, it took nearly five seconds to install this package, and that exact same package took about three seconds to install with my AUR helper. So what do we do here? Well, I'm going to show you how to install it, and I'm going to show you the different options. I'm going to tell you why you should use mine instead of other people's, so let's get right into it. So you want to go to github.com slash swindlesmitgoop slash That's what I decided to call it. It means plated in gold, but, oops, I must have typed that wrong. There we go. So it means plated in gold, but it also had the letters A-U-R in it. So I thought it was pretty cool because you know, my thing is gonna be golden. It has three dependencies as opposed to the ones in Rust and whatnot that have like a billion dependencies. And it's very simple to install instead of having to, well, I guess you do technically have to compile it, but you don't have to install all the extra nonsense. Most systems are already gonna have make and GCC and whatnot installed. At these libraries, you'll most likely have libcurl uh, libgit2 and li libjson-c, you'll probably just install both of those very quickly. They're very small. And then most of the features that I want to implement are done. It's really just things in the code that'll speed it up a little bit that will change. But for now, you can use it. It's in fully working condition. So I want to show you a few of the options here. So if I go into the folder, all you have to do is run make and then make install and because i'm on linux today i'm going to do sudo make install and it installed and i even wrote a man page for it which you can see up here okay now here's the thing about this aur helper since it's written in c and i didn't i made i didn't make it a pac-man wrapper i sort of just feed a few things well i guess it technically is a pac-man wrapper but i do most of the work through the actual aur helper but I had to write it from the ground up instead of basing things on Pac-Man. So let's get out of the man page real quick because if you just run the program by itself, it'll print an actual, uh, whoops, it will print a short help function. So you can see we have four options here really. We have download and install a package, search for a package, remove a package, and then print out the help. And Let's so, so I already showed you, and it's really simple how to do a package install. So let's say I want to install, well, let me remove uh, NVM real quick. So NVM, remove that, and then I'm going to run make clean to get rid of the cache on this. And then I'm going to run orient-s NVM. One moment. And it's installed. So as you can see, that was very fast. If I want to search, we can search for NVM once again. And you can see, well, because it's kind of, it's so large and the window is kind of squished over here, the line wrapping is a little bit broken. I might fix it in the future. Um, but you can see it searches just like all the other AUR helpers would. And the search, in case you're wondering, is faster, once again, than both Paru and Ye usually by about 200 milliseconds. Um, it's not that big of a difference compared to how big of a difference it would be with the install, but if you're using it a lot, which it's basically a package manager, you will be, then it should save you a decent amount of time. And then the next thing I wanted to show you is the help, like I sh showed you before. It'll print out the help function. Now you can see that, well, it's colored here a little bit, but because of the way I set up my wallpapers, uh, it might look different here. Let me choose a uh, wallpaper that'll have more color. All right, I think this one should be good. Whoops. Oh, you can also just do dash H. 
All right, here you go. So you can see that the colors, there are colors here. If you don't want colors, all you have to do is configure it in config.h. So you go in here and you can see that if you don't want colors, all you have to do is comment this line out and then recompile. And then when you go here, you can see that it's all just plain white text, which is very nice. Now I'm gonna obviously uncomment that because I like colors. There's also, um, this is kind of a hack solution that I've set up, ignore that. And also, if you like using Duas on your Linux system, but you don't want, and you don't want to use sudo, what you can do here is, um, I'm not sure if I have Duas installed, I do. Uh, let's see if it works, yeah it does. Alright, so if I wanted to use Duas here instead of sudo for installing packages and whatnot, I can put Duas there. Once again, make, and then make install, or oops, oops sudo make install, or I guess I should do do as make install, shouldn't I? Anyways, and then you can see that it will still work just as intended. I'll do the git package just so I don't have to remove all the stuff from before. Uh, remove, install. You can see, there you go. It installs just like normal. So you can use do as as well, that's why I added that feature. Aside from that, there's not really much configuration to be done. Uh, maybe I'll set it so you can change where the cache directory is, but that's kind of a minimal issue because it goes into, um, well, what's the variable called? It should be uh, xdg underscore cache underscore home. Yeah, so that's where it goes, and then it will be, uh, will be slash orient. That's the full string that it constructs inside of the actual program. Now, you might be wondering how many lines of code are there in this program. Well, I'm pretty sure GitHub actually tells you real quick. So, 171 significant lines of code. So, that's excluding white spaces and whatnot, which get interpreted. Well, they're not interpreted by their compiler. But when it gets compiled, those all go away. So, it doesn't even matter in the end. But 171 significant lines of code. You want to know how many Rust has? Or, not Rust. You want to know how many Paru has? I don't even think I could tell you. Let's find out. Now, I don't even know the first place I'm going with your source, and there's all these different things already. Oh my gosh. Is there a, a main file? Here we go. Um, well, that doesn't look very helpful. And look, look at all this. You look at this. What am I even looking at? All of my stuff, you know what it is? It's in, it's in orient.c. All right, you can see all of my functions are in here. Everything is commented. Everything makes sense. Most of the code is good. This is a little bit of a hack here. I'm a, I'm a little embarrassed to even show this on screen, but you know what, I mean? it's fine. But everything is nice and neat. Okay, with Rust, what am I even looking at over here? I have no idea. Maybe this is the important one. Oh, 580 lines of code just to do the install function. I wonder how many mine is. Um, this should be install. Uh, no. Uh, let's see here. Actually, maybe it's called something else. Uh, download. There we go. Let's see how many lines of code my download function is. Um, I don't think it'll tell me, actually. I don't think, yeah. A little 88 to... 152. So if we do spur... 88 minus 152, or I guess it should be 152 minus 88. 152 minus 88. Oops. I think it has to be quoted as well. Okay, come on. Uh, I'm whatever, I don't even feel like calculating it. But it's it's obviously not a lot of lines compared to par. I, I got a little off topic, off, off track there. Now, um, God, I have to know now. Ah, 64, thank God. Okay, I, I just, sorry, the intrusive thoughts one there. Regardless, um, that's all I wanted to show. Um, my AUR helper is superior to all the other ones. It's faster, it's written in C, not a lot of dependencies. There's no reason why you would use anything else. Um, I guess that's the end of the video. Sorry for not posting a lot. I wanted to make this video for a while, but I kept having to record it over and over. Um, I do have an interesting two-part video coming soon, so look out for that. And uh, 
I guess till next time, thanks for watching.